To form and build your art style faster, I highly recommend you doing an art style studies. It's when you try to draw a character in another artist's style. It's especially fun to do in the form of a challenge. This is one of the steps which can help you to speed up the development of your own art style. And I've mentioned these ways or steps in my art style video. If it's too extreme for your skills yet, try recreating one of the artist's existing artworks first. Start with simple stuff. Just don't post it as your own artwork. Just don't. Then move to an art style challenge. So today we'll study Sam Young art style. His way of drawing cute girls and simplifying things is amazing. And I want to learn how to do it too. I took several of his artworks, which I think should help me most, and put them together on one reference board for the inspiration. I'm gonna redraw this Hades portrait in his style. This is one of the artworks I've made quite some time ago. I start with a sketch, just a usual circle with ear and jaw. I'm using 6B pencil brush, which comes with Procreate, as I really love it. It gives you a feeling that you are actually drawing on paper. While I draw, I realize that I've never seen Sam draw characters with a um, big uh, chest area, so we'll have to improvise. To give a character a cute and childish look, I'm planning to make the eyes bigger and nose and mouth smaller. Basically, everything on the upper part of head should be bigger and on lower part smaller. I'm finishing the first very rough sketch, where I'm just making the position of the face features and proportions. I'm lowering the opacity of the sketch layer and create a new layer on top with a clean sketch. This sketch will be on top of the drawing and it will also function as a line art a bit. Because Sam loves keeping the sketch lines in the final artwork, so we're gonna do it too. I'm using a medium airbrush for it, but I've modified it a bit so it would have a bit of thickness diversity depending on the pressure. His way of simplifying the ears is very close to Loish, I should say. And I had an extra challenge here, as I couldn't find any example of Sam drawing the colorful hair, or the hair going up, or the character having a bonfire instead of her hair. So yeah, no proper hair reference for me. For each face feature, I'm trying to find the closest or favorite reference on this reference board and try to copy it. I think for the eyes, I've used this girl as a reference, for nose and lips, these two girls, and this one for the face shape. Don't forget to flip the canvas horizontally from time to time, because I totally forget about it more often than I should. After I'm satisfied with the sketch, I'm ready to start putting some color. I create a new layer below the line art and start putting base colors. This is a huge torturing challenge for me, because if you know me, I love working in grayscale first and only then adding color. So it took me quite some time to figure out the right color for the skin. And I've filled everything with base colors. For this version of Hades, I've decided to keep the natural human skin color, as Sam really loves using natural colors, so I just didn't have a choice here. I start drawing lips and notice that to draw lips, Sam usually takes just a soft brush with red color and almost like taps one time in the center of the lips to create soft gradient. The upper lip can be a bit darker, though, but he doesn't make any hard edges on the lips. After that, I wanted to figure out other most distinguishing elements in his style, so I've added the eyeshadows. 
usually draws them darker on the furthest corner of the eyes and in the inner corners of the eyes he doesn't draw well this thing there is no way I'll be able to pronounce that I'm sorry and the dark eyebrows is also a very important distinctive feature One more thing is the lighting he uses. I've decided to give some kind of warm sun color to the Hades, to get that vibe of the golden hour. Some blush on the cheek and nose, and other shadows. I'm using soft brush for it. Sam usually makes the borders between the light and shadow very hot, and all the shading inside the shadow area is very soft. I'm also adding some blue color to the shadow area as it looks like the reflection of her hair, but also a blue sky on a sunny day also gives that effect. And I'm starting to add the shadows to the hair, trying to use this artwork as a little reference and some light blue to make it look like the flames. Highlights on the face are also very important. I'm using light blue color for that, as all the highlights are located in the shadow. Don't forget to add those juicy lips. As for the eye, I add pupil and some shadow to the iris. And some tiny highlights, which always make the eyes look so much more alive. After that, I start adding shadows everywhere. To keep them all inside of the character and not to go outside, I use the clipping mask in Procreate. I create a new layer on top of the layer with character and tap on it and select clipping mask. Now you can only draw inside of the character. Also adding some single strays of hair as Sam does in his artworks. It makes the character look more dynamic, alive and interesting. I add some sunlight on the background to make it look like it's coming from the window and falling on the wall. And I create layers with different blending modes like overlay and put some yellow on top to make the light shine more. I noticed that Sam uses special brushes with lines to create interesting textures. So let's make one. I draw six dots, invert the color so they would be white dots on the black background, save the JPEG image to my gallery, then tap on the plus on the brushes menu and under the shape menu inside I find shape source and tap edit, import and import from photo. Select our form and play with settings until I like the result. Looks like it should work. And it doesn't work like it should. So I'm changing the settings and now it works like it should, but it actually shouldn't, but meh. Anyway, I've made a brush and I put some texture with it on different places, mostly on the hair and shadow edges of the skin. I've spent two hours on this portrait and pretty happy with the result. Anyway, here is the final look. After this study I have a better understanding of cuteness of Sam Young's characters. So now I want to come back to my original Hades drawing and try to implement my new skills there. This is the version I already have after the Loish studies. So we're gonna add a bit of the Sam Young style here too, now. 
using the light colors and liquify tool to make this god of death look less like starving death and more alive by adding some volume to her cheeks. Making the edge of the lips not so defined and more blended with the pale skin. Editing bridge of the nose to make it more curved. Very curved nose bridge is also a piece of art style of Sam, making inner corner of the eye smaller and more blended with the skin. Adding some blush to our death lady and drawing more eyeshadows. Adding highlights like we did before. Putting some golden hour sunlight by drawing with the yellow color on the new layer with blending mode called soft light. More sunlight. Also, I'm darkening the eyebrows and making teeth look more cute by erasing some details. And adding some texture with this six dots brush, which I've created for Photoshop too. So here is the final result. And now some conclusions. Basically, the less details and shadows on the face, the better. Keeping the face super simple making the eyes bigger and mouth and nose smaller. And always draw your characters in a golden hour, or some kind of it. Light is super important. These are the key elements I've pulled from this study for myself. Now drawing cute faces should be much easier for me, as I hope. Anyway, it's been an awesome exercise and I highly recommend you to try doing it yourself. So hope you'll find this video helpful. If you want to support me to do more of this kind of content and also to get an access to all of my poses references and step-by-step -step tutorials, consider supporting me on Patreon. Thank you for your patronage! Thank you so much for watching, have an awesome day and I'll see you soon! Bye!